That's a great deal. And we're back here, everybody, alongside the Michael Jordan statue. I'm Steve Cashel. It's our Bulls pregame show live from the United Center Bulls and the Indiana Pacers tonight. With me is the head team physician for the Windy City Bulls, also for Midwest Orthopedics at Rush, orthopedic surgeon, Dr. Adam Yankee. Doctor, thanks so much for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. Appreciate it. So a second year now with the Windy City yeah. Bulls? Yeah, second year of the team, second year that I'm with them also. How is that going? Explain your, explain your role with them. So I'm the head team physician, and so I am the orthopedic surgeon for the team, and then we also have a primary care doctor, and there's also a team of athletic trainers and therapists that work as well. And uh, we just try to manage whatever injuries come up during the season, try to keep people playing and uh, doing the best that we can to keep them healthy. It's great because you're not just independent. You have a whole group of doctors within the Midwest Orthopedics at Rush MOR, and I think that's great for any team, right? Yeah, it's crucial. I mean, it's hard to be an expert at everything, and so there's certain things that I do well. There's certain things my partners do well, and so if somebody's got a hand issue, then I'll have them see somebody that sees hand all day. And so it's nice to have those resources uh, available. All right, so tell us about some of the the injuries that you're seeing with the Windy City Bulls for fans out there, what are some of the common basketball injuries? And some may be unusual too, right? Yeah, I mean, the run-of-the-mill stuff is uh, common, like tendonitis, so patellar tendonitis, uh, ankle sprains, things like that we see all the time. So we're really used to managing that. We've had a few injuries this year that are a little bit more uncommon, some that you usually see in baseball, for instance, uh, ulnar collateral ligament injuries, which is a ligament on the inside of the elbow. Yeah. We've had two of those this season already. It's uncommon to have even one of any significance. Uh, we had an ankle dislocation, which was a pretty big deal. Um, so we've had some pretty significant injuries, unfortunately, for the players, but it's been keeping us busy. Yeah, so let me ask you, Dr. Yankee, um, when it happens with the Bulls or it happens with the Windy City Bulls, treatment the same, obviously, but you get a little more time because they're in the G League in the so-called developmental league? Yeah, I mean, it's maybe just a little bit different, but, I mean, it's another thing to keep in mind. They won't end up here, so... It's an important thing for them to get back just as quickly as some of the players here. Even if the contracts aren't the same, some of the logistics may be different. But otherwise, we're really trying to do just pretty much the exact same thing. And what's it like working with uh, that group of individuals uh, that's, you know, as you said, it's kind of the minor leagues right now, although a number of Bulls players have played in the Windy City Bulls this year. Yeah, for sure. I mean, that's that's kind of the fun part of the transition. So the dynamic of that team is a little bit different. It's much more fluid. Who's on at any given season changes a lot more even within the season. And so it's fun to see everybody giving their all and trying to show what they can do. Uh, and it's really a different dynamic. And so you've got people within the administration that are growing, and you've also got people on the team growing. So it's really a fun, fun group to be with. My guest is Dr. Adam Yankee with Midwest Orthopedics at Rush, also the head team physician for the Windy City Bulls. It's our Bulls pregame show, Bulls of the Indiana Pacers tonight here at the United Center. What are you seeing, uh, Doc, uh, over at MOR, Midwest Orthopedics at Rush? What are common, some of the common typical injuries this time of year? Yeah, unfortunately, with this weather and the ice, we're seeing a lot of fractures or broken bones, you know. So it's really important to be safe and try to be careful. Uh, people having broken wrists or their shoulder, things like that. So uh, kneecaps, things along those lines. So certainly the, the fractures and the, and the broken bones are a lot more common right now. So getting the salt out to de-ice and, and being real careful if it's slick out is, is really crucial. What are some of the symptoms? Uh, somebody falls, is it a sprain? Is it a, a break? I mean, yeah. what are we looking for? I mean, if you have significant bruising, if you really see discoloration or changes in the skin, then that can really be a, a big deal. And um, if you see that, or obviously if the if the, something just doesn't look like it's lined up correctly, that will be a little bit more obvious. But a lot of bruising and swelling is usually a more significant injury. Good. And uh, how about your key with the uh, Chicago Bulls? We've kept this team pretty healthy, right? You, yeah, Dr. so far Brian so Cole, good. Yeah. the head team physician. Uh, you guys, I'm sure, collaborate a lot between the two teams. Oh, yeah, certainly. I mean, I've known him for 15 years, and, uh, you know, I started working with this team here under his apprenticeship, essentially, and then that's how I got involved with the Windy City Bulls. So it's been a constant communication. Wonderful. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Dr. Adam Yankee with the Windy City Bulls, our head team physician for Midwest Orthopedics at Rush. Back with more after this.